Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Henny Belazi and I'm the head of the Human Resources Development Center at the American University in North Africa. Education means a lot, but good education means a lot more than that. Good education is education that gives results, that is results oriented. In order for it to be results oriented, it has to have three components that are major players in this picture. One of these components is of course the material to be taught and learned. The second component is the learner himself, i.e. the student. And the third one is the method or pedagogy used in imparting that knowledge and that learning to the learner. Any education should be learner-centered, learner-focused. The learner is the one who is the most important element in the operation of education. But when the learner comes to class, he expects something. That something needs to be facilitated by someone, and that is the professor or the trainer or the teacher. There are many names that are used for this purpose. The material, first of all, or what is called the content. The content has to be organized in such a way that it leads to results. The results are measured. So when you build any teaching item or training item into a course, you should take into consideration the objective of whatever you're doing. What is it that you're looking for that you would like to impart to the learner? That objective has to be well described, very specific, and measurable. In part, if you build the objectives the way you want them to be result-oriented, you must have methods of imparting that to the learner. The learner, who is the center of the learning process, must be someone who is engaged in any course. In other words, when you build your program, you have to center it around that learner and facilitate. The professor or the trainer has to facilitate that learning so that it impacts the student. Now, for it to impact the student, it has to be relevant. In other words, it has to touch that student or the learner. Touch him in many ways, touch him psychologically, touch him from the point of view, of, from his own point of view, in other words, he has to see some kind of uh, a positive um, result in whatever he is listening to or reading. So exercises, tests, uh, games, role plays are quite important in, participate in, in making that student participate in the learning. Uh, if the professor is going to be uh, a lecture, a traditional lecture, that is not going to be some method uh, that will yield results because it might be whatever the lecture is doing might be uh, totally irrelevant to what the student has expected or expecting to learn. Uh, you have to motivate that learner, you have to motivate him by making him participate, you have to involve him in the operation of learning. So it is not something, I mean, the student and the learner is not what is called a tabula rasa. In other words, he knows nothing and I have to impart that knowledge or whatever I know to him and he has to understand it. No, it's not something automatic. Uh, you have to work for that. You have to develop what is called a teaching outline. As a professor or as a trainer, you have to develop the teaching outline and that teaching outline must be built on objectives and those objectives must be measurable and achievable and you have to include tests and quizzes and other tools to make sure that the learner has learned whatever you wanted him to learn. Uh, I look, that was a little note on education in general, hoping that the American University of North Africa does succeed in applying this approach uh, so that education can be a success story. Thank you. Thank you.